Alright, uh, so we are now watching the second lesson in our fluid simulation course and in this lesson we are going to see how we can uh, work with the cache folder so assume that this is an domain and I will scale it uh, around two times and after that I will say that we have some fluid which is uh, maybe here uh, so I will add an IOV sphere which will may be located inside this place uh, then I will define this will be an, an domain and after that let's say it will be an domain and uh, this will be the fluid of course uh, our fluid and if you select the domain uh, you will see this is the cache folder uh, so uh, basically the uh, fluid simulation inside blender uh, doesn't work with uh, in real time so it's worked inside uh, uh, so it's work uh, as a cache uh, in memory so it, it doesn't work in real time let's uh, explain it in more detail assume that Assume that you have a um, timeline here. If you uh, have around 100, and you play, you will not uh, see anything because uh, this is uh, not like the close or any other uh, mechanics. So it's work in uh, by using uh, you should use cache. So uh, I will uh, uh, open this folder, and it will uh, become in temporary here. Uh, so basically if you are done you can copy this folder in your project file or copy it in the desktop as you uh, may uh, find a suitable for you but uh, be uh, aware that if you exit the uh, software you will uh, neglect or the uh, blender of course will, will delete this folder because it's located inside the team so basically you can choose any uh, folder uh, your desktop or any uh, folder and save it uh, and I uh, suggest that you save it inside your project files uh, as uh, I say and uh, this is the final resolution and this is the preview and this is the start and this is the uh, end so uh, if you uh, say that you have a frame rate of 30 uh, then uh, we have around 5 seconds uh, then I will say it will be end in uh, 120 because we have four seconds and uh, make sure that this uh, number in seconds and this number in frames this reverse frame will reverse your animation and this is the speed for your frames uh, then I will say that the resolution final will be around maybe 100 100 is a, l a large number uh, and if you uh, work on this test you can uh, choose the preview to be uh, maybe 15 or something like this and if you uh, want to high resolution you can go up to this number Alright, this is the render display and uh, this is the viewport display uh, so this is uh, how you want uh, the fluid to be uh, inside uh, your uh, in your uh, viewport then I will cache this and come back later uh, to see what we will